Thank you very much. You just met with His Majesty King Abdullah, mm -hmm. not the first meeting, of course. <clears throat> How would you describe the relationship between the U.S. and Jordan? Well, I think the U.S. and Jordan relationship is very tight. Uh, you know, on a personal uh, note, I've had a long-standing relationship with the King. I first met him when I became Chief of Staff of the Army eight years ago, and then when I became Chairman four years ago, that relationship's continued. Um, and and I would tell you that uh, he's had a tremendous relationship uh, with the United States military and with the United States. And, uh, we've had a really long-standing partnership uh, with Jordan, multiple decades, uh, going way, way back. Um, and and I think that our relationship with Jordan is critical. It's uh, Jordan's one of our closest allies in the world, well, allies and partners that uh, we have. Uh, it's one of the great strengths of the United States is that we have friends around the world, and Jordan is one of our best friends in the Middle East for sure. What avenues of a military cooperation now exist between Jordan and U.S.? Well, as you know, there's U.S. troops here in Jordan, uh, and we have common interests and common values. And uh, since 9-1-1, we've uh, had a very, very close partnership for counterterrorism. So we've got several thousand uh, U.S. troops here. Uh, they work closely with our forces that are also in Iraq and uh, Syria, um, and they all come under the command and control of General Carrillo, who's the uh, U.S. Central Command commander. So we've had a very, very uh, strong, very close military relationship now uh, for a very, very long time.